good morning you guys i wanted to show you my morning routine summertime edition i'm currently at my parents house right now because me and joel are looking for a place so we're just staying here in the meantime because we just haven't found anything yet so we are still apartment hunting but while i'm here i just wanted to curate a summer morning routine for myself because i have had absolutely no routine in the morning whatsoever so i started to actually give myself a routine these past few days and it's felt really really good to get back into things but it seriously made me realize that having a good morning routine is something that takes care of my mind body and soul it makes the biggest difference for me especially when it comes to my mood my happiness throughout the day how i feel in my body how connected i feel it makes a world of a difference because i have been just feeling so sluggish lately when i was out of my morning routine i was waking up later i just wasn't doing anything in the morning it seriously led me to feel so sloppy but now that i'm back in the swing of things it feels so much better and i feel so much more aligned because i just had like the limiting mindset that like oh i'm just at my parents house right now i don't need to be in a routine i don't need to do anything i can just wait until i get my apartment but like i don't know when i'm gonna be in my apartment so i just can't wait around forever because it's just gonna happen when it happens so i had to take control and i had to be like nope we are doing this. What I've been trying to do is wake up with the sun because the days have been so long and I want to try to take advantage of this because this only happens in the summer. Waking up, hearing the birds, it's like so beautiful. Anyways, so I have two journals here that I'm going to do right now while I drink my greens. I have the 5 minute journal fit edition and then I have this from the same company, notes to mindfulness journal. So we are going to do these both right now while I drink my greens and then we will continue on with our morning routine. I just quickly want to show you into this five minute journal the fit edition because i love it so much and it's honestly a game changer and doing this every morning makes me feel so good so it has a daily habit tracker which is so cool and then here's how the day-to-day -day pages look so it has here the date what time you woke up and your amount of sleep and this is something that is so cool to log and kind of just like keep track of just to see if your sleep is affecting any part of your life you can also input your mood and this is really important to me because when i'm like on my period and stuff my mood really fluctuates so it would kind of be cool to keep track of this and see what times in the month i'm super sad i'm super happy and then you log your energy level which will be really effective for that as well but then you write what you're grateful for things i will do for my well-being and health today mindful affirmations and then at night you do how did i take care of myself today and what did i learn today so this is like a super self-care version of the five minute journal which i absolutely love and then here in the notes to mindfulness i'll show you guys what a normal page looks like today i am noticing did i follow through with my morning routine today today i'm celebrating gratitude and then three important actions i can take to help my day feel successful and on each day there's kind of a different thing and there's lots of space to write in this journal which i really love and then like there's different prompts here like seven days of depth acceptance so it does like little things like that but yeah i love these two journals so much they're from the intelligent change but would definitely recommend okay so now I'm just gonna get ready to do my yoga go on a walk do a little bit of a workout but I just washed my hair last night I struggled with breakage and my hair falling out every time I washed it for some reason a million strands would just come out and I would have so much fallout but recently I've been starting to use kitsch rice water conditioner and shampoo bars and it has seriously changed the game for my hair i have not had fallout like i used to my hair has been coming out shinier and healthier than ever so kitsch is actually bottle free so their shampoo and conditioner and everything they absolutely have no bottles which is amazing and so much better for the environment you can get a shower caddy for the bars so what you do is you just install it in your shower it's so easy to do and then it's self-draining so you just put the bars on when you're done and it also lathers really well in the shower kitsch has no sulfates no parabens or phthalates the rice water contains amino acids and vitamins that stimulate your hair growth rice water also is rich in proteins and helps to strengthen your hair and prevent breakage the bars are actually scented with therapeutic essential oil 
and it just leaves such a good aroma in the shower. Kitsch is also Leaping Bunny certified, vegan, and cruelty free. Kitsch ships to the US and also 27 countries, Canada, UK, New Zealand, Australia, and more. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in shopping, you could click the link in my description box. Use my code Mikhail Bento and get yourself 25% off your first order. Okay guys, I'm just about to go on a little hot girl walk. I'm gonna get the headphones, put them on, listen to some music. Since I don't have a gym membership right now because I am in a different city than like where I wanna live. So I'm not gonna go get a gym membership until I find out exactly where I'm moving, where our apartment's gonna be. So for now, I don't have a gym membership and I've just been kind of doing yoga and walking, which is amazing. Like as long as I'm staying active, I feel good. Whether that means strength training, going to the gym, going for a walk, it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, as long as I'm getting that exercise in it makes me feel good and also it's summer like you can't be going outside for a nice walk I've been going on like two walks a day because it's just been so nice but anyways let's go on a little hot girl summer morning walk let's go I get rid of all the smoke like OZM. I just got to the grocery store just straight from my walk. I don't do this every single morning, but some mornings there are times, like I feel like especially in the summer where I just want like fresh fruit or something for breakfast. So I decided to come to the grocery store today because I want to get some yogurts because I want to make a little yogurt bowl. I feel like that's really refreshing for the summer. Also want to get cold brew. I've been in my cold brew Starbucks cold foam era. They have this drink that's like the caramel cold brew or something like that it's a new one and i love it and i want to try to recreate it by myself because my friend told me that it's possible to make like real cold foam at home and she sent me the recipe starbucks actually has their cold foam recipe on their website so i'm going to copy the exact same thing it takes like icing sugar and cream or milk or whatever you want to put but i'm going to get ingredients for that and then we're going to make it together because nothing hits like having a good coffee i've just been loving cold brew lately i just go through phases with drinks like sometimes i'm super into matcha sometimes i'm super into cold brew coffee it just really depends anyways let's go do some grocery shopping probably just going to be like 10 minutes not too much so we can have a good breakfast So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the cold foam right here. So you just have to do a quarter cup of cream, milk. It has to be at least 2% though, cause it kind of has to be thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some cream and then I'm gonna top it up with oat milk just to mix the two so that it actually becomes thick because sometimes oat milk doesn't froth that well. So then the recipe says to add one tablespoon of icing sugar. I'm not sure why it's icing sugar in specific. Like you could probably use regular sugar. I don't know how much of a difference it would make. And then we have this caramel syrup for coffee. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit in. It doesn't really say to add syrup, but I just kind of want to give it a little bit of a caramel tinge, like the drink that I like. And then now I'm just gonna take um, our hand frother and froth it. And I'm assuming it's just gonna get thick. It's not really looking as creamy as I want it to. Okay, so I just filled the cup with ice and now I'm just gonna pour this cold brew in. I ended up getting this brand because there was no Starbucks cold brew. They just had like iced coffee. So I'm just gonna pour that in there. This doesn't even look thick enough. Like it's kind of liquidy. I don't know why. I don't think it's gonna get thicker. So let's just pour her over. Oh, I'm kind of sad. It's not thick at all. <laughs> that was a fail. Maybe it's because I added the caramel syrup and that made it liquidy. I'm really disappointed, honestly. <laughs> That is so good, but I wish it was more creamy. I'm assuming that is because I did the syrup and I watered it down. That's the only thing because I put a good amount of this, which is half and half, 10%, and said to do 2% milk, so that's why I'm confused. Cheers, anyways, I feel like if you were to follow that recipe and maybe use a heavier cream or, I don't know, 
do it better than me it would turn out because like my friend did it and hers turned out perfect yeah So here's my breakfast. This is just the yogurt that I bought today. Vegan Greek yogurt with raspberries and then peanut butter. Super simple, but I really like this combo. And then just the iced coffee. So good. I'm gonna now obviously eat this and then we're gonna get ready for the day. Okay, so I am going to now get ready and do my makeup for the day. So I'm going to show you guys what my summer makeup is and what I like doing. I have been recently using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum and just putting this on as a base. I kind of alternate products on what I use for skin prep because I have a lot of things that I actually really like and use. So I haven't used this forever, but I do really like it. And then to go with that, I just use the Charlotte Tilbury Cream. This cream is actually really nice and I would describe it as silky but it's not like too heavy so I feel like it's perfect for summer because it doesn't weigh anything down. I have like creams that are a lot thicker that I don't use before my makeup in the summer because it would make me way too greasy and oily. And I have been liking putting on an eye cream recently. I either do the Versa Vacation Eyes Brightening Eye Gel or the Drunk Elephant Multivitamin Eye Cream. I just kind of alternate between the two. I think I'm just gonna use the first one today. Last part of skin prep is sunscreen. I'm going to put on the La Roche-Posay 50 SPF. I actually recently just got this and I have been really liking it. It's super liquidy, but it blends into the skin really nicely and it has really good coverage because I feel like I don't really want to be putting anything less than 50 in the summer, especially if I'm keeping it on all day behind my makeup. You can't just really reapply that. So this is the non-tinted version. They sell this in a tinted version and a non-tinted but i just kind of like my sunscreen to be non-tinted don't forget to apply your sunscreen guys especially in the summer i apply it every day even when it's cloudy even in the winter to prevent wrinkles for the future and skin damage we don't want skin damage it's worth it to invest in like a good quality one that you like so it really just like motivates you to wear it all right now time for makeup i just have been having my makeup in this bag because i haven't unpacked it so since it's summer i've been trying to do like super glowy makeup so i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury and just put a little bit of that on. I don't like to cake it on too much just because I like things to be natural and kind of do like a no makeup makeup look. So now that that is applied, I'm going to go in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I love this stuff so much. You guys know this. It's a drugstore concealer, such a good price point, but it's so good and I love it. And I just kind of like placing this on spots where I want to brighten or just give myself a little bit extra coverage. And I know this may be really cringe to some, but I like to blend this out with my fingers just because it gives a really natural finish. It just melts it into the skin. I really wanna get my nails done, by the way. I'm gonna get them done soon. So now I'm gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light Medium. And this is the perfect bronzer. I love it so much. Like, look at that, it's so pigmented and it blends out so seamlessly into the skin and it's the perfect summer product. Like I love it so much and I think I will use this forever and ever because it is just so good and it gives like a really natural nice finish and there's like no harsh lines with it. Like if there's one high-end product I would recommend you guys to get, it's this. Now we're gonna go in and set everything with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and my little powder puff. I don't like to do too heavy of setting just because I like to keep it dewy and natural but in my t-zone i get so oily like it's not even funny like right here beside my nose so i set that also my chin and then on my forehead here my t-zone because if i don't then i'm actually going to be like dripping oil by the end of the day but since i just set that area i still look really glowy which is perfect okay so now before doing my blush i'm gonna go in and do my brows i just use this elf brow pencil and i dip it into the the elf brow lift and I like this stuff a lot. I just repurchased it. But the only negative thing that I really have to say about it is that it doesn't last the longest. Like it doesn't keep them up for the whole day, which is really disappointing because at first it makes them look so good. And then a little bit into the day, I look in the mirror and for some reason, they're just not up anymore. And sometimes I'll carry this around with me so I can reapply it. But let me know if you guys have any brow product recommendations that keep your brows up all day because... 
I used the Got To Be Gel as well, but I stopped liking it after I used this because it kind of like flakes and I don't know, maybe I just don't properly use it, but this stuff is really good. It just doesn't last as long as I would like it to. All right, now that the brows are up, I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I've been loving e.l.f. recently, but this is in the color Bora Bora and it's such a pretty summer color as you can see. And I like blending this in with my fingers just because it gives like the most full coverage. <laughs> Such a pretty shade and it's so cheap. It's literally like $8 or $6 or something like that. So worth it. And it honestly lasts the day. Like a lot of blushes, they will just fall off of me, like disappear into my skin. But this one lasts the day, which is super nice. I feel like I'm always kind of alternating my blush though. Like I kind of go through phases with blush where I'll use one and then switch to the other. So it's kind of funny because I have like a million different blushes and sometimes I look at them all and I'm like I don't know which one to pick today because I'm obsessed with blush. Now I'm just going to set that with a powder. This is the Too Faced blush and the packaging is so cute but I just like to set it a bit on top and this is a beautiful color as well. Okay so now I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty setting mist. Oh my god, I just like ingested that. I really want to get the Patrick Star setting spray because apparently it keeps your makeup on all day. It's like the sweat proof one, I think it's called. But I really want to try that for the summer because like I said, I get super oily and then it kind of like rips my makeup off. I mean like this setting spray is good, but I haven't really noticed like a huge difference when wearing it versus not. I have eyelash extensions on right now. I don't know if you guys could tell, but my sister did them because she's doing eyelash extensions now. And so that's why I got them. But I got them super natural and I really, have been loving them like you could probably not even tell that i have them on because they're so good and natural and they're perfect for the summer because i hate wearing mascara like i just hate it my lashes don't keep a curl so this has been so nice and easy for me i haven't had to apply mascara which is amazing but sometimes what i'll do to just kind of accentuate my eye is i'll just take a little angled brush and draw a little bit of a wing i'm actually going to use this one but i like just taking like a really light brown and then drawing a little wing just to accentuate the eyes so i'm gonna go in with this essence pencil in the shade 101 and just apply that i've been loving this because it's just really close to my actual lip color also this lip liner is only like 2 dollars Canadian, so it's so cheap. I have like five of them just laying around everywhere because I like to take them with me. But yeah, then I'll just apply some gloss over my lips, which I don't have with me right now. It's in my purse. But that is the summer makeup look that I love doing. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys actually. Sometimes what I'll do, like right now my lips are like a decent natural color, but sometimes, some days, my lips will be super pale and I don't know why, like my lips just fluctuate color sometimes. And when that happens, I use the Benetint over my lips to give them a little stain before applying lip liner and i love this so much anyways so that is my everyday summer makeup routine perfect natural glowy and it makes me feel good and it makes me feel more productive when i get ready for the day so i've been trying to do this every day so that i actually feel motivated to go out and do things because if i don't then i'm just gonna like stay inside all day but it's summer and we want to get out of the house so have a good light makeup summer moment <laughs> 